friends okay there's a new technique we're gonna to take to the water today now I've been doing it the way they're talking about doing it on the computer with crazy glue and straws in through but my name's gonna be dead Fred I got crazy glue on the table and stuff Shelly's gonna kill me but anyhow I've made a few up but I'm thinking this for the technique that we're gonna take out and do today so we got our line we're just gonna take a hook just a number one little hook facing upwards like that with the tip. Hang on, I think I'm gonna have to put some glasses on for this or we're gonna be fumbling the whole thing. Okay, so slide, just slide the hook on the line, just let it slide. And then take this here, little tubing. So little tubes and slide them on the line. I just, this one here is out of a pen, the ink cartridge. I've been using, uh, for those other ones that I glued, I glow in the dark sticks, emptied them out. So any kind of little tube like that. So we've got the hook and two tubes. Then we're just gonna take a uh, hook, another little number one any hook, and I'm just gonna do an overhand knot, just something to hold it on there. We're gonna end up cutting it off. So maybe to make sure it doesn't come off, we'll just tie a knot. Okay, so now we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna take our, we got a big, huge Senko here because we're gonna go after large mouth using this. And on a downward angle, as much as you can, shoot this hook through. Maybe a bigger hook would be better for this so you could get even more of a downward angle. But just fish it all the way through, pull it right through, pull the line, everything, right through. So now we've gone through on a downward angle. And now we're going to go through the middle on a downward angle on the exact same size that line's on. We'll start here and we'll go, oh jeepers, put up the glasses on. Downward angle again. Okay. Pull that line all the way through and then Again, the opposite side. At the back here, we're gonna go through the tail area. Okay, so we'll pull that all the way through. Now we're gonna cut the hook off. Now we're gonna put a bead on, just a normal bead. Oh my God, glasses. Okay, and then we're gonna take that hook that we cut off. We're gonna tie that on. You can use whatever knot you want, polymer. Okay, we're gonna take this to the water in a little bit here. I think this is gonna make it so you can rig them up in the boat. All you'd have to do is cut some tubes up. Okay, so slide that all the way down. So we're like that. Now we're gonna take our tube and slide it all the way down here and we're gonna fish it right through where the line went through. And on this one, it's the first time I've ever done this, so bear with me. Gonna shove that tube right completely through, pull it out, and it's gonna stay in here as a sleeve on this next one. So we'll push it all the way through again. 
And you see they've been crazy gluing them in place, which is just causing a mess. So now there, I've got that through there. So we'll slide the second tube down. It can go through where that first one left the mark. We'll just slide him in. And these are sleeves for the line to slide through. And then we take our hook, take our hook down the line. And see where the line entered the worm? We're just going to hook below that. And we want the eyelet to line up with the hole that's going through, just like that. So see how we're kind of in line with the hole? Now, when we get out in the water and we twitch this, it's going to kink up like that really hard and fast, but then it'll straighten right back out. So it's going to go clink, 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 clink. If you watch on the internet, it's called a um, Inu rig. So if you put in your rig in the thing, they'll show you how they do it. There's videos of it in the water and it's squirking and carrying on. It's crazy. So let's take this out on the lake and see what we can do with it. But I think that's a quicker way to rig that up and you can do it just in the boat. Um, down here, so I have the bead. You have choices. I mean, they're, what they're using is uh, your split rings and they're putting a split, tying a split ring in the line. You can put a hook on that split ring uh, little drop shot weight like this would look good down there. So if we we're deeper today We're not going to be that deep that I can think of but if we do go deep We'll uh, put a drop shot weight down here Instead of say the bead or the hook and then you just have the one at the top which would be fine They'll they'll eat that all day long. So that's what we're gonna be using Just pulls up and straightens right back out. So this is gonna be really cool. Let's go do it. Okay, my friends, we've come out here on the water now. So we have the Inu rig, which was spelt I-N-U-R-I-G. So if you want to look that up so you can see that thing in the action wiggling and everything else. But before we do that, we're just pulling up. So I want to throw a huge lure to see if we can get a monster first before we, before we start with that rig. Plus, it'll help us locate where maybe a school is or something. Let's just fire this out first, and then we'll... Then we'll get to what the video is really about. I just don't want to miss out on this because usually when you first pull up, you throw something huge like this. You get a monster. Got one. Oh, we didn't get a monster. <laughs> we did not get a monster. What did we get here? We got a little pike. What are you doing attacking that? He thinks he's bigger than he really is. We can, if you can imagine. They're full of weeds. We get this little guy. Okay, let's get to our in your rig. Put the spoon away. We have got weeds everywhere. That is a nice weed to see out there, though. Green. As you can tell, we're this is northern bass. It's cold out this morning. It's one of the first cold mornings, too. So anyway, let's fire this out and see what we can do with that. You can imagine I just did that. The thing was shooting forward, back, short, and forward, back, just like a, a real worm.
You gotta swim in a bit, have it jolt all over. It's gonna happen. Say okay, that's our very first cast with one ever, so really don't have any tricks yet. There could have been no fish on that cast be, to see it because they'd eat this. Let's check a different area. We'll go back kind of where we went with the spoon then. I knew they'd like this. It's a little guy, but on a big bait, that just shows you it was triggering them for a little guy to bite that. Oh, and and he actually bit the back. Get up here. Bit the back hook. So, you know, usually it's just a front hook from what I see on the the uh, diagrams, but we've got them on that back one. So, yeah, maybe add a hook there. Uh, you can add a a blade and add all kinds of things anyway guys give that rig a little shot I, th I think this is going to be the new new deal so i thought i'd show it to you i think everybody's going to be doing this you can imagine that eh? it just squishes up and straightens back out pretty neat that's going to drive fish nuts all day today okay see you